Hi, I'm Lorna Lyle in the TMC Newsroom. Here are today's stories. In a rare move for a legacy telephone company, Hawaiian Telecom Communications has filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy. The filing allows Hawaiian Telecom to reorganize its finances while continuing day-to-day -day operations. The company says it has about $1 billion in debt, which includes over $574 million in bank loans, as well as about $500 million in bonds. The bankruptcy filing triggers a freeze, which generally prevents banks from collecting debts owed by the company, such as loan payments and payments to suppliers for goods or services received before the filing. Hawaiian Telecom said its management team will remain in place and that the action is unlikely to affect the company's approximately 1,600 employees. Some industry analysts believe the bankruptcy means that the Carlyle Group's private equity buyout is a bust. Carlyle bought Hawaiian Telecom from Verizon Communications in 2005 for $1.6 billion putting up $425 million in equity and using debt to finance the rest. Still, perhaps not all is gloom and doom for carriers. Researchers at Frost & Sullivan say there are opportunities for service providers, even in the tougher economic climate. According to principal analyst Sharifa Amira, quote, enterprises will be looking to minimize risk and to improve operational efficiency and will pay for communication solutions that help them do that. The trick, though, is to show quantifiable cost savings, end quote. In the consumer market, Pricing and promotions will be key as consumers will spend less money on entertainment and digital communications. Sangoma Technologies Corporation released highlights of its unaudited financial results for the quarter ended September 30, 2008. The company saw a sales decrease of 8% for the quarter as compared to the same period a year ago. The decrease was largely due to a decline in economic conditions during the quarter. Net income after provision for taxes was 40% higher than net income for the corresponding quarter in the previous year. The company reported declining sales in the U.S. and offshore, but increased volume in its native Canada. And finally, while email is a wonderful tool that enables both consumers and professionals to keep in touch with each other, it is also proving to be a cause of guilt. According to a survey conducted by Mocor Research, more than 40% of the American public admits to feelings of guilt as a result of failing to keep on top of emails from friends and family. Of those surveyed, 55% admitted that they were currently overwhelmed with emails from personal contacts. The study revealed that an alarming number of Americans are suffering from negative emotions caused by a failure to cope with their personal emails. In failing to keep up with email, consumers have seen accounts close, lost contact with friends, missed birthdays, and forgotten about paying the bills. Good luck catching up and reducing your guilt. I'm Lorna Lyle in the TMC Newsroom. Thanks for watching.